everyone. It's Common Westermay here, hoping that you're excited and uh, enthused about estate duty and estate planning and all things estate related. I know it's not always always a fun topic to discuss, but it's a very necessary one. So the aim of this series, it is a three-part series. You can do each session individually if you'd like, but I do think it's going to be great to look at it overall, is we're going to look at the tax consequences of death and dying as well as some of the planning opportunities that are available. So the first session is going to focus on the income tax consequences. So what happens to you? What what does the DMCGT look like? What does the income tax in the estate look like? What are some of the common mistakes people make from an estate planning point of view when they look at... um, sale of assets and yeah, effectively just the structure of the estate. So that's session one. Session two, that we are then going to look at the actual minutia and the nuts and bolts of how estate duty works. How do we do the calculations? What is property? What's the deal with insurance policies? What's How do I value use of rights? Do we even still need them? Um, successive death rebates, uh, rollover relief for spouses, basically all of those standard questions when it comes to state duty. And then in the third session, we're looking at tying it all together, where we will look at the impact of your will on your estate in terms of the requirements for having a valid will, what some of the T's and C's are, how that can influence your estate planning, as well as the impact of redistribution agreements. And finally, we then go and look at, well, what are some of the common estate planning tools? Do they still work? What are some of the things we should be looking for and what are some of the pitfalls with estate planning? I really do hope that you will find it as exciting as I do and I very much look forward to seeing you there.